Hi guys, this is Tanya Menace with Apple Tree Homeschool Academy. Today I want to share with you our circus themed binder, which falls under our summer wild animal themes that we do for our home daycare. So let me go ahead and open this up and get started showing you how I organize this. I've been working on this uh, the last few weeks and uh, I've collected these items over the last couple of years and um, more recently sort of printing off some coloring pages. So these are some uh, something that I printed last year. I don't know where I got those. Um, I go and try to collect as free resources as many as I can. And so I laminated these today, printed them out, and hot glued them on the back of these large popsicle sticks. I inserted them into a sheet protector, and I can take some tape and attach to the top here to keep that closed. And then here are some wild animal themed variety of stickers, also in a sheet protector. Get that at, and I like to get my stickers at the dollar store. So there's a whole variety here. And keep them in the sheet protector, and that way I don't have to be searching for all of these all in a variety of different locations. I can have it all right here and ready to go. This is a little uh, circus clown and circus train. It only goes through, I think, letter E. And I got that laminated today. I use that for um, probably for a decoration. Then I have some finger plays that I've printed offline. Some little rhymes that are circus themed and wild animal themed and I have them back to back in to save the sheet protectors and use all the you know that sort of saves on how many sheet protectors you'll need to use counting circus here's another language printable Here's a math counting printable that I found. Three ring circus counting mat with a cute little circus tent at the bottom. And you can take little animals and um, put them inside and have them counting exit activity that way, even erasers. This is um, a circus sorting activity. So you could put pom poms or glass beads on um, the people or the animals. This is a little uh, decoration or art project for an older group. This is a printable that I found online and it's by firstpalette.com and there's other additional pieces that is in between here and behind this sheet these are the little caricatures, miniature set that comes with it. And that's where I got that. Here's a circus tent that I thought was cute. So I can created by Planetarium. Okay, and I've got a circus snacks mix recipe in here. Now you're going to get into a section where I've alphabetized the resources according to the first letter of the animal. So these are wild animals and a lot of them will have a letter with it. And I've taken pages like this out of um, preschool pages of uh, workbooks and then I separated them into themes according to the animals. So A for alligator, and the A's for alligator I will need to build. This is the only page I have for that. So C is for circus, and then I've got them all put in the binder according to alphabetic order. C is for clown. So all these resources I found online. I try to stick with cute pictures of clowns because a lot of children are afraid of clowns. This printable is a practice 
tracing the circles, but you could also, when you're done practicing tracing the circles, have them put pom-poms and count out pom-poms and place them inside the balloon. I tried to use very simple um, printings of the pictures. I don't like to have, for my age group, I home daycare owner and I have a very young age group, so I don't like to have too much on a p one page. I also have, like say, this would be three to five copies in this one sheet protector, and so it's ready to go for my group, and they don't have to wait for me to print anything off. So this would be a picture, uh, a page out of a preschool book, workbook, and I had bought two or three copies of the same preschool books, so all three cop pages from all three cop um, workbooks would be here again, so two to three to four children would be able to um, do the same page. So I pulled all the pages from the uh, workbooks and I set them all up into categories. And so these would all fall under the wild animals or circus themed. This is something that I had found online. So we're going to do elephants. So I'm going to go a little quicker now. And so I can, you can see the simplicity that I try to go for when I choose my pictures that I want to print off. This would have come from a preschool book. And it, again, it has a couple of pages behind here. So a couple of different children can use this. H for hippo. A little lion um, finger play here. This would be cute to put little pom-poms in here. Anytime the letter is incorporated in the picture with the caricature, I try to make the letter as plain and not covered by the actual cover uh, caricature as possible. So you can see I don't like to have anything extra on the page if I can help it for my younger group and then these are adequate for an older group work book pages that had taken off and separated so M for monkey Clifford is a good one to incorporate into your um, wild animal theme now this picture did not have this image for monkey I inserted a text box into the page and added that on in a word document same here now this one um, had a lot of space down here at the bottom and I haven't really decided yet figured they could draw their own picture there Now, something like this, you can take a piece of yarn and have them match, or you can take um, those little Chanel, well, we used to call them pipe cleaners, but they're little Chanel sticks, I think is what they call them now, and they can use those to match and lay down, or you can use dry erase marker on here, so you're not just wasting the page and throwing away, you're reusing this over and over and over again by being in a sheet protector. Some writing um, practice. Good pre-writing skills. Again, some more pre-writing skills to follow the dotted line. Match the monkey to the banana. Of course, you would be looking at your age of your group and your individual children in my case since I'm a home daycare um, 
So these are the things that I have in the binder so far. It would be a work in progress, so I'm still... So as you see, this progressed in alphabetical order, Z for zebra. I do want to print off some um, letters, just simple, the individual letter Z, and incorporate it into this binder as well to each of their matching um, animals. And then this is a patterning page that came in one of the workbooks. So there you have it. And then I think on the back of my binder here, I put this printable printout picture that I liked and just decorate the binder a little bit. But I just want to show you some things and ideas of what I would keep in my binder to have everything nice and ready. This is a new uh, collection that I've just been working on and finally put everything together and been working on it. So I hope you like these ideas. If you've got any really cool links um, and especially freebies, leave those in the comments below or let us know how to get uh, find those online and um, share with us what you do in your circus theme and your wild animal theme in your summertime. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks. Bye.